trying to find a way to generate something, so why not leverage your assistant coach? One of the most passionate people and one of the best trash talkers of all time. When United inside, you know, you look at Boone, he's playing against a rookie in Humphreys, and well done from Melbourne United going at him early. Perry Ellis for Sydney. Ty Wesley now to the glass. With one to come, it's a possible three-point play. Wesley. Kino tries to stop him. Wesley. Shot clock to four. He did enough. A show of strength from Ty Wesley. The whole time. He must have taken eight dribbles. He's going to score nine out of ten times if you allow him to do that. Ellis at the other end. With and one to come. Brought back out by Melbourne United. Much to the disdain of Leonard Copeland, and there's Brad Newley spinning his way to the hole. Just a pound dribble, hit as deep as he possibly can in the paint. Boone, another soft touch from close range. Diabolical, but it was deliberate, determined, dynamic against Perth. And there's Jerome Randall driving to the basket. In terms of team foul, Sydney with just one against their name. And Boone! Wow, Josh Boone. Backboard Boone. Up to five for the game now. He's doing it at both ends. Josh Boone. I'll get back to that as Golding and Melbourne look to start the second half with a score, but Isaac Humphreys, the big block from behind. Chris Golding says, where did that one go? It's Casper Ware. He's been giving assists rather than scoring in the first half. He says, how about I up my points tally at the half? Ellis into the paint off the backboard and through. It was an ugly shot. Flexions and it started the easy transition. Where the runner is put. Uh oh. Where. And Blanchfield stop him, there's your answer. Too quick. In the story of the game. Sydney back within a bucket and then in a blink. Melbourne leading by 10 or more. Newly tries to lift the Kings. Newly looking to go all the way. He does off the backboard as they crack 50. Casper Ware bouncing around in front of Kevin Lish. And Casper. Oh. Newley and Gallup exchanging passes. Here's Jerome Randall for three over the top of Hooley and he swings it through. Newley goes baseline and then turns it over. Kyle Adnam, supported by Golding, he elects to use Smith Milner who dunks. Smith Milner. Now Ty Wesley banks two more. Casper Witt, again, scores the bucket, gets the foul, and can... Jace Gaddy, the crowd waits, now they celebrate. And we've seen it again here this afternoon. Moller to Boone, who holds his poise perfectly, beats Blanchfield. Now Hooley. Hooley off the glass and in for three. Well, there's the big bucket at the end. You sensed it was coming, and it did. Full time, Melbourne too good. They win it by 17.